Welcome to Outlier On Air. We are here in Long Beach, California at the We Labs co-working space with Dan Lundmark from Lundmark New Media. And uh, he's taking a break from uh, his office to come out here uh, in this creative space here and tell us uh, about his company. So thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. I understand you still have... Uh, the beach on the bottom of your feet, so uh, I'm kind of jealous that you live out here by the beach. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we are barefoot, by uh -oh. the way, because that's how we do it in something, Long Beach. It's something unplugged? No. It's <laughs> we're good. Keep going. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, we're, we're literally two blocks from the beach right now, so. Sweet. So are you from Long Beach? <clears throat> no, I'm originally from Illinois. Um, really? I was Chicago. born in Illinois. Really? What part? Decatur. Okay. Blue I'm collar from town. I don't know where that is because I was starting. Chicago, yeah. Cool. So. so, what brought you out here? What's the draw? Um, the first internet, uh, first internet boom in the mid '90s. Yeah. Yeah, I came out and helped start a, a couple startup companies. Okay, so you've always been in media. Um, I studied computer science, but okay. I also studied graphic design and art. And so it's kind of like left brain, right brain. Yeah, that's yeah. a good basis. So, and web development in, in general, I think, has a, there's a design side of it, and then there's a technical Absolutely. side, so it fit me well. So, so it's very rare that I meet someone that's really on both sides, strongly on both sides. Yeah. Are you stronger on the creative side or stronger on the uh, technical side? I try to be, both? I try to be strong <laughs> in both. I yeah? Know. Cool. Yeah, and, you know, and I do think people can... Uh, learn a lot of things. Yeah. I do think, sure. you know, it, um, there's a, an idea of specialization in our culture. Yeah. Uh, but I think I think it's a, it's important to see things from a different angle, you know, to to learn. And and I think an environment like We Labs helps with that. Absolutely. Um, you run into people in other industries and you know, photographers, filmmakers, programmers. Yeah, technical so, people. Like, we got a guy doing machine learning on the other side. Really? Right now. Yeah. So you um, all collaborate. Neural networking. It's, um, a very, it's a very creative vibe here. Yeah. Do you end up all working together, um, sharing contracts? or? We have done, I've done quite a lot of that, yeah. Okay. Um, and we do other projects. My friend Grant here, mm -hmm. uh, Grant Roy, he's a, he's a programmer, and we're building a 3D printer together. So, really? Cool. Yeah. I can show you the parts. You want to see the parts? Absolutely. I would love it. One second. This is awesome. <laughs> Something random. I mean, this, I, there's a lot more parts. But these are all parts that were printed. Really? Um, by another friend of mine. He's, he's print, see, you can see the numbers? Yeah. Um, so this is going to be a RepRap uh, 3D printer. Um, so how's it different <clears throat> than the 3D printer that already exists? Um, it's like five thousand dollars cheaper. Oh, that's a little different. <laughs> yeah. So you can buy all the parts. Like these are the these are the motors that okay. you know actually make it work. Okay. And then once I get it built, I'll be able to print all the parts to make another three D printer. Ah. Uh -huh. Right. So we'll just keep printing. It's more. like a eternally print. self duplicating. Right. That's the concept. <laughs> that's so cool. It's a replicating print. Wow. So wow. So. so and I'd never done that before, so, you know, we just kind of got into it. Yeah, and you're in new media, so tell me a little bit about that, about Lundmark, uh, new media, and then how I this I hear somebody in. calling me on Skype right now. Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I have been involved in design and typography and graphic design and branding, yeah. logo design and development, um, and more recently, um, I've gotten into promo videos for... Uh, uh, you know, I have clients that sell toys and other products, and um, like one of the video uh, videos that I put together mm -hmm. with my friend um, now has uh, close to 20 million views on YouTube. Really? And, wow. You know, and this was a family-run company that got so popular that they had to, you know, ramp up with factories in China. And, really? Yeah. So I like to, you know, I see myself as an in, um, helping my clients leverage the internet and online media. So do you actually do the filming? I see a, a very nice camera, a lighting kit, a green screen right there in your office. Yeah. So we do we do promo videos for, for websites, um, training videos, tutorials. Uh, Sweet. Yeah. And, and then we'll also go out in town and 
shoot on the subway. On location? Random. Yeah. If you look up air swimmers, you'll see the okay. video that I worked on. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, so do you do all the editing? I mean, everything start to finish? Um, no. My, my friend Mark and I work together. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, we've done projects all over the world together. Really? Yeah. So is this your long-term business? Or do you have an, a next step that you're working towards? I got like five next steps. <laughs> Yeah. The 3D printer being one. Yeah. Yeah, another friend of mine, uh, uh, someone's trying to call me. Let me just, let <laughs> Go me just ahead. Mute it real quick. Yeah, no problem. Outliers, have you ever wondered exactly how to build affiliate websites that generate cash? Affiliate networks are the secret to the success of several huge brands today. These are the websites that give consumers information about products or services with links to the providers, then gain a commission from the resulting sales. Now there are professional affiliate marketers who are killing it and providing huge value to consumers and to brands. Two of our favorite expert affiliate marketers are the globetrotting husband and wife team, Jill and Josh Stanton over at Screw the 9 to 5. If you would like to learn how this successful power couple has built a location-free lifestyle through building affiliate websites, go to outliermagazine.co and click on resources there at the top. There you'll find out how to learn directly from Jill and Josh at the Outlier discount and start generating cash to give you the lifestyle freedom you desire or just supplement the revenue that you're already making online. So go to outliermagazine.co and click on resources to generate more cash for your business today. Okay, so anyway, we were talking, oh, I was asking you about if you do the whole process yourself, because that can be overwhelming oh, yeah, quickly. Yeah, um, so I've, worked, I've done some, some myself, but yeah. Yeah, my brother, Tim, works with me full time. Okay. Uh, he's in Chicago. Um, my wife helps with um, bookkeeping and yeah. stuff like that. Um, and then I have other people like here and other places that, like contractors and yeah. Do you see yourself working out of a co-working space like this long, really long term, or do you uh, have desire to eventually go out and like get a studio or go to some next level? Uh, it's definitely a great space to incubate mm -hmm. concepts and ideas and try things out. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, I don't know yet. <laughs> yeah, I think I might. If something grows, yeah, we'll, we'll have to get more space or whatever. But. But it's been good because I used to work out of my house, and you know now I'm doing better than I was then. So why is that? Do you think? I think it's the uh, collaboration and the yeah the um, a lot of people here work together. Yeah, I think Share relationships are so so important, no matter what business you're in, and you right. just can't help but make those relationships when you're co-working right. together. Yeah, and so. it gives you a place to meet. Right. You know, so. Yeah, there's a lot of benefits. Yeah. Too. So so you kind of just make it sound really easy. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I did this and this and this, and here I am. But have yeah. you been through some tough times? Uh, absolutely. Um, yeah, there's definitely ups and downs. And, you know, you get behind schedule. And you're like, you know, um, I, I just read an article in the New York Times on um, called Out of Money, Out of Time. If you look it up, it's pretty interesting. But the concept of it was that time is another form of it can be another form of poverty, where you're like, yeah. if you have five things to do, and then you're calling the one guy and being like, yeah, I'll, I'll get it to you on Friday, and then, you know, you try to get that done, and then the yeah. other three are pushed off to the next week. Very you point. Know? So it's very, it's a challenge to learn to manage time and, and you know, make make things happen on, a, on any kind of schedule, especially yeah. when you're, you know, working for, your, for, for yourself and trying to get work done. Yeah. yeah it's, it's. It's tough. Can you share like one specific major learning experience? Oh, um, or just a dramatic story that makes you cry. That's cool too. We're, we're, we're all about that. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I mean, we've all been there, but yeah, I like, right, you know, right. I like hearing about how, I don't know. I mean, we like to learn from what you've done and what you've learned. Yeah, I'm, I'm still learning. <laughs> um, yeah, well, you know, one company that uh, my friend and I, uh, started we never we never launched it yeah and i think if i was to do that that project again um it was an app discovery app search engine for mobile apps um you know we were invited to meet with uh with uh 
venture capital firms yeah. up in Silicon Valley, and um, you know, it, but the perfectionism that kind of, mm. kind of fights the minimum viable product. It's a great know? point. Yeah, so you know, we kept working on the product, like this beta of the product without ever actually launching it to the public, so we didn't get the feedback that I gotcha. think would have been helpful. So I, I, I hear you. I think especially with creatives uh, who have very uh, I don't know, visionary ideas, yeah. it's, it's important. It's important to us for our baby to be the best it can be. So I think that's a great point. A lot of people maybe don't move forward just because of that. Yeah, so you know, we never launched the product. We didn't get funding. Um, yeah. So you know, that was a low point. Okay. A few years ago, yeah. Good learning and, experience, um, though. You know, so you try to bounce back, learn, and say, okay, the next time I launch something, I'm going to launch it yeah. early, yeah. Um, even if it's, like, if, even if it barely works yeah. and doesn't look Just awesome. Just to prove the concept and right. move forward. Yeah. You know, and Good I think, point. Yeah. So, so I would say that's something I've been learning. Cool. Yeah. So how can we get in touch with your company and check out your work? I uh, I build websites day in okay. and day out, and I don't have a website for myself right now. <laughs> True story. So um, it's all referral based. Yeah. Um, you can find me online though uh, if you go to uh, lundmark.com. Okay. Uh, and you can find find me on Twitter and Facebook and okay. Google Plus. We'll put all your links in the show notes. Vimeo and so, whatever else. YouTube. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, and and what was the YouTube uh, video? You said uh, to go check out. Yeah, just search air swimmers. Air swimmers, okay. You'll see the flying shark and clownfish. Cool. <laughs> so my friend uh, Mark and I work together on that. Okay, we'll go check it out. Yeah. Thanks so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah.